We started by browning up a little smoky bacon in the skillet. Give a nice background flavor. So this is a turkey and bacon chili that we're gonna toss with spaghetti. Shut up. <laughs> I think what's, what's cool about you using turkey with this too is it's, it's actually a healthier yeah, alternative well, because turkey meat's really lean, obviously. Turkey is very high in protein, very lean, but you can buy very lean ground beef too. And actually, ground sirloin has about identical fat content to ground beef. Hmm. So it's really just a flavor profile. Now we're going to spice up the turkey, or if you were using ground beef, we're going to add in lots of garlic, of oh, course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I cook my cowboy spaghetti as a cow, as a real cowboy would in a good old cast iron skillet. Mm -hmm. The cowgirl or cowboy's best friend. <laughs> oh, we, you know what? While I'm adding my spices, which are about a teaspoon each of uh, nice earthy uh, cumin. Here we go, ground cumin. Coriander, it's best friend. A little bit of oregano and a tiny pinch of cinnamon, that's the secret ingredient in the Cincinnati Cowboy uh, spaghetti. Instead of the traditional ground beef, we're using leftover um, chopped up uh, turkey because uh, everybody needs more and more creative ways to use up their Thanksgiving leftovers. Now we're going to deglaze the pan with some beer. Oh, oh yeah. Amber or Pilsner beer. Um, wow. If you don't buy beer, you're not a beer drinker, of course you could use uh, turkey stock. You really smell that come through, that's incredible. Yeah, and it's, it's as the alcohol's cooking off, oh. the flavor's concentrating, and it just really gives it a nice tang. I always put a fat splash of Worcestershire in my chili, so a fat splash of Worcestershire. Some smoky uh, fire-roasted tomatoes, diced or just break them up with your hands if they are whole. And because we're having a five-way Cincinnati chili, that includes beans. We're going to add in yeah. our dark kidney beans wow. as well. Um, did you drop the pasta? Oh, I'm, Jess. I'm dropping it like it's hot, Rachel. Drop the pasta, and don't forget to salt. A lot of salt. Okay. More than you think. It should taste like seawater. Good. Wow. Perfect. That's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of salt. It is not. It should actually taste like seawater. It's the only chance you get to flavor the pasta itself. So I, I, she just You just taught me a, a moment ago that when you pick the pasta up out of the boiling water, it's called zhuzhing it. Yeah, do zhuzh your <laughs> pasta. Well, your friend Rachel is so brilliant. It drops in right away because the pot's oval, not round. So uh, once you give it a judge, you're done. Good. Walk away. Now, you're a big, strong fella. Take this. It's hot. Take this heavy pan. Okay. Pick it up and dump all of this in there. Okay. This is our cowboy spaghetti that we made with turkey leftovers instead of ground beef, Cincinnati style. Pour it all in there. Dump, dump, dump. Go, go, go. Look at that. So we're going to marry all of the pasta with all of the sauce. Never serve naked spaghetti. It's outlawed in Cincinnati and any place else. <laughs> At least as far as I'm concerned. Now we're gonna finish this as promised because it is Cincinnati spaghetti five ways, which means we've got the beans, we've got the chili, and then we're gonna top it with not one but two cheeses. Oh. And we're going to top that with a little bit of chopped raw white onion. Uh. I know. I love leftovers even more than I love Thanksgiving, quite frankly. You can get so creative. And all of the flavors that you put in, all those different spices and yeah. all the beans and everything, you just smell it all coming it through right now. It smells awesome. Cowboy spaghetti is amazing. So, cheddar cheese. Yeah. Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, and a little bit of onion.